Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Daniela. Today I'm gonna go through my July empties. And empties is that I have collected the things from the month that has passed and I will go through and tell you if I will repurchase or not. Um, I always tend to start with the things that are from the shower. And the only thing, well I have two, three, three things actually from the uh, shower I think. Yes. Uh, first off is this uh, bar soap from, uh, I actually bought it in Rhodes now when I was there in February, March, so right before the pandemic. Uh, and this is an olive oil soap uh, with pine uh, scent, looks like this. It's from Knossos, I think. Yes, it's made in Knossos. Um, it do really smell like a... Uh, Pine. It smelled like in Mexico, where my mom is from, uh, there is um, cleaning supplies called Pinol, I think it's called, and that's pine and it smelled really like this one. Um, I found this at the Euro shop, so everything was one euro or yeah, around that. Uh, so I bought like 12 soaps, I think, something like that. Um, and I was supposed to buy even more, but every time I came there it was closed because it was winter season and like the opening hours are a little bit however they want to have it open. But yeah, uh, I bought uh, one of uh, the ones with the pine, but I still have 11 more to go with different scents. So yeah, uh, if I ever come back to um, Rhodes, definitely will buy. And if you're going to Rhodes, the Euro shop, oh, where was it? Uh, next to Sephora. That's the one you should go to. Uh, what else did I say? You have shower things. Ooh. Um, this is just a piece of paper, but this is from uh, Lush. I have used up the American Cream um, conditioner. I was like, what's is it conditioner or shampoo? But it's conditioner. So it's a pink uh, bar um, conditioner. Um, in January last year, so January 2019, I started um, buying shampoo conditioner in bars instead of in bottles. So I'm trying to reduce my plastic outtake. Uh, so I'm trying to like slowly but steadily taking out plastic from my life, even though it's, it's a lot still, I know, I'm trying, I'm trying my best, but yeah, it's going la la, so la la. Um, I have also used up one Gillette Venus Spa Breeze, also plastic. This is something I'm a little bit afraid of to go over to, is it called safety eraser? Um, because it's only metal and I have bad experience with those kinds of things. So that's why I have still uh, the one Gillette ones. Uh, I will try and um, swap it out for the metal one, but mm, yeah, I'm a little bit afraid, afraid of it. Uh, what else? Ooh, I have used up one Pepsodent Long Active Fresh Breath Toothpaste. This is 75 milliliters. Um, yeah, I only, I, I like, I take whatever toothpaste I find in the household. This is also something that we should uh, perhaps reduce a little bit and not have it in plastic. Um, but yeah, until I find good toothpaste in capsule, capsules or uh, some other product, then I'm still using this. But I do recycle everything. Uh, I save everything in a bag and then in December I will recycle everything, which I do every year. Um, what else? One more hair tie. <laughs> if you've seen my empties, you know I always use up hair ties. It's um, something I always do. Uh, something big here. Um, this is actually not done done. It, it was just that I had two packages opened and I was like... <sighs> It's just taking up so much space. So I counted how many I had combined. And I think it was 35 or something like that. And this is a pack of 50 because they are uh, much thinner. 
but the ones that I combined them with uh, I think that was a pack of 35 or 40 or something like that and so I combined this the Evax um, looks like that and I combined it with the ones that are a little bit thicker these ones I bought for 280 um, in Morocco well I shouldn't say Morocco it's actually um, uh, Melia so that's one of the parts of Spain in Morocco so something with going to Morocco always uh, gives me uh, my period comes so I don't know um, what else I don't know which one to start with should I take my perfumes I can do that because I have two very big things here uh, my perfumes first of all I have used up one more of the Viva La UC oh Viva uh, Uzi Couture Viva La Uzi Le Fleur looks like this. Uh, this is the um, 40 milliliters. Uh, I have used up many of these, I think. I think like two or three. Um, and I still, I still have the big one of this. Um, I have one, two, three. Do I have four? I think I have four um, Uzi Couture still uh, in my collection. Um, but yeah, this is the Le Fleur. Like when I wanted to buy it from the homepage of Kix, the, where I buy my makeup and so on, uh, they didn't have it, and they didn't have it, and they didn't have it, and they didn't have it. I was like, okay, uh, I did. I think it was this one I found in in Washington D.C. last year with work. That was the seventy-five milliliter uh, bottle uh, for twenty-five dollars. And I think the small one cost the same amount, and this is forty. So yeah, but um, Yuzu Couture, it's something I always repurchase, and I have been doing that for the last one and a half, two years, I think, something like that. Um, before it was more Tommy Hilfiger summer editions. I had the, like the whole collection from. Like 2004, 2005, uh, but then I shouldn't say I discovered, but I was like, I'm gonna switch, and and then I started with Music Tour instead. So yeah, that's that's that. But I still have a lot of Music Tour. I think, as I say, I think it's like four bottles still left. Um, I did when I bought something from Kix. I got this uh, sample of uh, Jean Paul Gaultier, so scandalous. Oh, so scandal. So uh, sorry. So scandal. Uh, really, really like this. Like, so like it's a very sweet, flowery scent. So this was the uh, small bottle that you get. It still looks like I have something in here. <laughs> and I actually looked at the homepage, but nothing's coming out. Uh, I looked at the homepage and the bottle. Uh, the big bottle, 50 milliliters, because they have only 30 and 50 of these. Um, it was like 900 and something. I'm like, uh, no, not buying it there. But I think I saw it somewhere else, much cheaper. So perhaps I will splurge. Perhaps. I don't know, because I do have a lot of perfumes right now. So um, I have always lo uh, liked uh, Jean Paul Gaultier's perfumes. I had the one, oh, what's it called? Mm. Now I can't remember it because of that. It's a girl dancing or something like that in a, in a dome. It, it was good. It was it smelled really nice. And I really liked it. Uh, but yeah, also expensive. Um, let's see, I will continue with my nail polishes because... Oh, yes! I have used up two more. Um, it has been very, very slow in my nail polish project. I haven't even done any uh, videos for it this year uh, because it's it's been going really bad. <laughs> um, I think these two are the first with color that I've used up. Let's see, I'm gonna, just going to stare at this side and see. I have used up nail polish remover and I've used up top coat. 
but I think these ones are the two first of hopefully more uh, nail polishes that I have used up um, with color. First off is this nail art, it's nail art uh, nail polish. Uh, and nail art nail polish looks like this. They have a finer tip, uh, a brush I should say, and then you can do like designs. This is from Amour. Um, I bought this in Mexico a long time ago. Uh, in the bottle here it looks very pale, but here on the top perhaps you can see a little bit better, but it was actually, um, it was light blue, but more darker than it's in the bottle right now because it has uh, changed the color um, and how I used up this was that I mixed this so I poured everything of this together with this that I had left in this one this is um, ooh, what uh, what a little rainfall what's a little what's a little rainfall I think it's that combination from the um, Brazil, OPI Brazil collection, but this is a uh, liquid sand. And the thing with liquid sand, I don't like it. Um, it gets stuck on your, like, it's worse than glitter. And yeah, glitter is a pain in the ass. This is even worse. Uh, so, what I did was I combined these two. Uh, I had already previously only had this on my toes, but I combined these two and I painted it on my toes. So I am happy that those two are out from my collection because, yeah, uh, first off, discoloration on one and the other one, pain in the butt. So the last things are my uh, medications. I had only one uh, seasickness tablet that I used up, so that's good, I used that up. Um, I, well, this is not done, but ex expiration date was now in July. It's Prolexian. Don't know when I, for what I got this, but it was in February 2018, something I did. And then, perhaps not medicine, but I have started uh, going to the gym a little bit more. And my trainer, he was like, you should get some protein. So I have used up two bags, uh, strawberry and chocolate. I can say I like the strawberry more than the chocolate one. And right now I have Vanilla pear. Don't like it as much as those two. So yeah, that was everything. Uh, much shorter, I think, than the previous ones. But I hope you have a nice day, and I see you in the next one. Bye.